10 to the power of 15 meters, 1 trillion kilometers. The Sun is the largest body in our solar system, representing 99.8% of its total mass. The planet Jupiter constitutes much of what remains. 10 to the power of 13 meters, 10 billion kilometers. One of the areas in which we can most clearly see the regularity in the universe is the solar system in which our Earth lies. The solar system contains nine separate planets and 54 satellites belonging to them. These planets, in order of their proximity to the Sun, are Mercury, Venus, the Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto. The only celestial body with a surface and atmosphere capable of sustaining life is our Earth. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. It is he who created night and day, and the sun and moon, each one swimming in a sphere. 10 to the power of 12 meters, 1 billion kilometers. 10 to the power of 11 meters, 100 million kilometers. 10 to the power of 10 meters, 10 million kilometers. In addition to this magnificent balance in the solar system, the planet Earth's position in that system and in space, in general, again revealed the existence of an immaculate creation. The Earth orbits the Sun in such a way that it only deviates from a straight line by 2.8 millimeters every 18 miles. The Earth never deviates from that orbit, which is extremely important because even a 3.0 millimeters deviation, for example, would give rise to dreadful catastrophes. If the deviation were 2.5 millimeters instead of 2.8 millimeters, the orbit would be wider and all living things on the Earth would freeze. Whereas if it were 3.1 millimeters, all living things, ourselves included, would burn up and die. 10 to the power of 9 meters, 1 million kilometers. Were it not for the moon, the Earth would not be as it is today. There would be no life on it at all. Were there no moon, the days would be shorter, and we would live on a planet of incessant storms and tornadoes. The atmosphere would not be as it is today, but would be much thicker. Were it not for the moon, the tides would decrease by 70%. Nocturnal life forms could not develop, and the seasons would not exist. With the sun alone, the earth would be an empty planet, consisting of the plants only, depending on the seasons, winds and rains. The Quran refers to the moon and its actions. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. And we have decreed set phases for the moon until it ends up looking like an old palm spathe. It is not for the sun to overtake the moon, nor for the night to outstrip the day. Each one is swimming in a sphere. 10 to the power of 8 meters, 100,000 kilometers. Our Earth proceeds along its orbit at a speed of 30 kilometers a second. From 100,000 kilometers away, it looks very small. Nothing can as yet be seen, merely a round, colored image. At a distance of 100,000 kilometers from our Earth, which meets all the conditions for our survival, it is impossible for us to breathe, drink water, benefit from the daylight, or consume nourishing foods. In addition, it is impossible to read a book or magazine outside the Earth's atmosphere in deep voids of space. Is that because the sun's rays do not reach that far? No. Light from the sun does arrive, but in space, particles such as molecules and atoms do not exist. 
That means there is no matter or objects that can reveal themselves by being struck by the sun's rays in the vastness of space. The light that does strike matter is given off all around them in the form of heat and light, rather like a firework. That is why there can be no daylight where the two are not present together. 10 to the power of 7 meters, 10,000 kilometers. We are somewhere that is moving rapidly through enormous cold and pitch blackness, protected against the daylight created for us and against external agents. From wherever we look at the earth, we can see that there is a stupendous creation. From the way the winds carry clouds laden with rain to the land, to the way the moon illuminates the earth like a torch, and the extraordinary speed of an average 110,000 kilometers an hour at which the earth revolves around the sun, everything has been created within an immaculate order. Looked at in the light of the links between these balances and systems, it is obvious that they have all been placed at the service of mankind. 10 to the power of 6 meters, a thousand kilometers. We are now on Earth, created with the finest conditions for the maintenance of life in the solar system. We lack for nothing on this giant spaceship created for us. There is no need to look beyond the earth for any of our needs. It has light, water, air, and food resources for us, and these never come to an end. The average temperature has been maintained in a dynamic equilibrium for centuries. Mars, which is further away from the Sun, is freezing cold, while Venus, which is closer to it, is hot enough to melt lead. Less than a 10% reduction in solar energy would lead to a fall in the average temperature on Earth, for which reason the world would become covered in a layer of ice many meters thick. A small increase in that energy, on the other hand, would cause all living things to burn up and die. 10 to the power of 5 meters, 100 kilometers. 10 to the power of 4 meters, 10 kilometers. 10 to the power of 3 meters, 1 kilometer. The Earth's atmosphere consists of 77% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% of a combination of other gases such as carbon dioxide and argon. The most important of all these gases is oxygen, because it is by way of oxygen that most chemical reactions in living things with complex bodies, such as human beings, take place. Carbon reacts with oxygen, the result being water, carbon dioxide, and energy. The atmosphere has been specially created for human life. This fact revealed by science once again proves that the universe is not a random mass of matter. There is of course a creator who rules the entire universe, shapes matter as he wishes, and keeps the galaxies, stars, and planets under his control. That sublime creator is Almighty Allah.